Welcome to the Progress Kendo UI Builder 2.0 demo series. I'm Shelley Chase, your host and software fellow at Progress. In this series, we will demonstrate how to use the basic capabilities of Kendo UI Builder. This includes creating a data object service, building editable grids, using custom templates, working with foreign keys, parent-child views, and working with charts. Each video is about 10 minutes long and can be watched individually or as a series. Let's get started. In this session, you will see how to use related tables defined as an open edge business entity representing a pro data set. In the Kendo UI builder, we will use the stack grid view where the parent grid will display the records for the parent table and the child grid will display the records for the selected parent. When the parent selection change, the child grid is automatically refreshed based on the defined relationship between the tables. In a previous video, creating a data object service, we showed you creating a business entity for a pro data set customer orders. The schema for that is displayed in this business entity class file, the data set named customer orders, and the two tables that it's representing, the TT customer parent table and the TT order child table. In this definition, we have that data relation defined right here. That is represented in the catalog when this um, service was generated. Let's take a look at that in the catalog. Back here in our customer orders, we have uh, TT customer and we have TT order. We can collapse those. And then we can see we have a relationship defined for that. And that relationship matches exactly what was defined for the pro data set in the business entity that we just looked at. We're going to be able to use those within the Kendo UI Builder to do a parent-child view. So let's go get started. We will open the same app we have been working with in this video series, the demo app. Let's take a look at our module and let's add a new view. Let's create a view where we can show the data source of the parent-child relationships for customers and orders. Let's call this view orders and let's pick one of our parent child views. We have the stack data grid view and the hierarchical data grid view. We will choose the stack data grid view for this demo. And what we have here is two grids are shown where we can display the parent records and the child records. By default, the parent data source was filled in for us with TT customer and the child data source was filled in for us with TT order. What we want to do is set the grid title for the parent to customers. We want to change the page size to six and let's enable our column filtering and sorting for the parent. We can now collapse the parent properties and work on the child grid. Here we want this to be called orders. We can pick different modes where how we want to do that. Let's pick the pop-up mode of how we want to edit our child records. And let's set the page size to six. Save that. Generate. And preview. Clicking on module one, we can see our new view displayed here on the left called orders. Orders displays the first six customers and for the selected customers displays the list of orders. As I change my customer record, you can see that the orders change for the child grid. We also can use filtering. So we can say we only want to show uh, customers where the value is greater than or equal to a thousand. If we do that, we can see that we have a different set of customers here. We can also sort by name or by cus number, and we can then see the orders for any of those customers. So let's pick, if we want to edit one of the orders, we can go into edit, and we see we have a pop-up edit screen here. We really don't want people to be able to change the order number, so let's uh, take that out of our of our child grid. So let's go back into the Kendo UI Builder. What we're going to do is edit the columns so that we don't have 
order number and we don't have customer number because it's the selected row that's above. We can change the labels so that they um, have the right spacing. Okay, and let's save that. The other thing we can do is take away the ability to delete. So maybe for an order, you want to be able to allow new orders for a customer and you want to be able to allow updates to an order. But once an order is placed, you really don't want it deleted. It could be canceled, but it can't be deleted. So we're going to turn off the allow delete on the edit options so that the delete button will no longer show up. Let's save and regenerate. We can see our updated application here. So again, we have our customers and we have our orders for that customer. As you can see, the delete button is gone. We only have the ability to edit now. And when we edit, we don't see the order number or the customer number because those really shouldn't have been changed. But now we can go and change the sales rep to someone else if we want to. We can also create new orders. But again, we've restricted that you cannot delete. That's all there is for displaying data in a parent-child view. For more Kendo UI Builder tutorials, please visit the Kendo UI Builder webpage. Thank you for viewing. Here are additional Kendo UI Builder 2.0 resources for you to explore.